Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my blockchain channel. And today we're going to talk about segregated witnesses. We're going to discuss what segregated witnesses are. What do they have to do with Bitcoin and Litecoin? And why do we speak about segregated witnesses nowadays? Let's get into it, guys. So what are segregated witnesses? Before we can answer that question, we need to talk about how a transaction looks like in um, Bitcoin blockchain or in Litecoin blockchain. So when we send a transaction, we specify where this transaction should go, the recipient, we specify the amount of coins we want to send, and we specify the sender who is sending the transaction. So that is the first part. And the second part is a huge signature and the signature is also called the witness. And so this signature basically verifies that the sender is, um, is able to send uh, the transaction, that the sender is authorized to send the transaction. And this, uh, this uh, signature can take up to 60% of the transaction size. So as you can imagine, guys, this is a lot of space that are waste, wasted for, the, for this uh, signature. Uh, the most important uh, uh, fields are, of course, sender and uh, recipient and the amount of coins. But then to make, um, to make this uh, transaction uh, uh, authorized, so to speak, we have this uh, signature. And so segregated witness is a way to remove this uh, signature. And that is why it's called segregated witness, because the signature is also called the witness sometimes, and we want to segregate it from, from the transaction. And so by doing that, we could decrease the size of a transaction uh, with um, up to 60%. And this would really scale the Bitcoin network as... Uh, and as we've been discussing in my previous videos, Bitcoin has a performance issue. Right now, Bitcoin can execute 7 to 10 transactions a second. And if we compare that to Visa or, Ma or MasterCard, they can do several hundreds of thousands of transactions a second, guys. And so we need to scale Bitcoin somehow. And there are several ways to scale Bitcoin. And if you watch my previous videos, you, uh, you will discover th them as well because we have discussed uh, a couple of such uh, ways. And so segregated witness is another way where we want to remove this signature from the transaction. And this change would be a soft fork, meaning that all the clients don't need to don't need to upgrade in order for other clients to use it. So when it comes to Litecoin, uh, the rules w were such that 75% of the network should upgrade to segregated witness, um, uh, a version of Litecoin that supports segregated witness before uh, segregated witness became activated. And that happened. So Litecoin today has segregated witness activated. However, Bitcoin, Bitcoin has stricter rules and requires 95% of, uh, of the miners to upgrade their uh, software. And that is where the problem uh, comes in because we're not really sure that segregated witness will at all uh, become activated on the Bitcoin uh, blockchain because reaching 95% of um, of the nodes uh, and the miners is of course a very very hard task and people often disagree on uh, on things and to reach such a consensus 95% of the users uh, is a very very challenging uh, task. So for me, it will be re really interesting to see how this plays out. Currently, only 40% have upgraded and we need 95% in order for segregated witness to become activated on the uh, Bitcoin blockchain. So we have, um, we have to see in the future how this plays out. What do you think, guys? Do you think that the Bitcoin community will be able to reach a 95% consen consensus on uh, segregated witness? 
And do you think that segregated witness is a good solution to decrease the transaction size? Because if we decrease the transaction size, we could fit more transactions into a block. And because we have this debate right now in Bitcoin, whether we should increase the limit, the block size limit, uh, we could uh, circumvent this uh, block size limit decision by implementing SegWit or by activating SegWit and thus fitting more transactions into each block and uh, this would of course accelerate uh, the Bitcoin blockchain as a whole. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Also guys, some of you have asked um, for a donation address and you have suggested that I should take uh, donations. So if you want to send me Litecoins or Bitcoins or Ether and if you want to support this channel, you can find the addresses in the comment section or in the description below. Uh, and of course, if you don't want to send anything, you don't need to send anything. Uh, that is all right as well. Uh, right, guys. This was uh, Segregated Witness. And if you are a new viewer and you like blockchain, you like Bitcoin, you like Litecoin, Ethereum, and if you like technology as a whole, you should definitely subscribe, guys, because this channel will be interesting for you. I myself am a software developer and I post videos every single day. So today we talked about Segregated Witness and I'll see you guys tomorrow.